YouTube. Today I have a cat with me. I always joke that um, we, uh, when we work from home, we kind of deal with our pets and the fun of technology. Um, <laughs> I'm going to actually use her a little bit today to talk about uh, self-care or a anxiety management uh, skill that we can have. And she'll probably jump out of my lap as soon as I start this process. Um, but my name is Kaylee and I'm a licensed counselor as well as a certified career counselor at the Lookout Point. And I like to offer people practical tools and tips that I use on a regular basis in my counseling sessions. So today I'm going to talk about how we can use our pets as a coping mechanism when we're dealing with stress or anxiety. Now, like I said, I have my cat here. My dog is actually in the room too. You might have heard his little collar making noise. Um, but I want to talk about how pets specifically can be a really good place of relaxation. First and foremost, they allow us to use multiple senses at the same time. Now you're probably not smelling or tasting your pet. You might smell them like if your dog stinks. But anyway, that puppy breath. Let me just say puppy breath. Like we, for whatever reason as people, we're like, oh my gosh, it smells like puppy breath. And for some reason we think that that's good. My point is we use multiple senses when we're, when we're petting an animal. And I want to encourage you to engage those senses even more fully when you are focusing on one of your pets. It's a great way to calm anxiety, to decrease stress. And so with my cat today, she is getting real chill in my lap. Um, her name is Zelda, and she is just a tiny little gray cat. But what I love about her is she purrs, and she has really soft fur. And so when you're focusing on a pet, you're going to start to use as many senses as you can at the same time and tune into that awareness. So, for example, as I pet her, I can use my sense of touch to feel how soft her fur is, and as I'm feeling her fur, I'm also feeling her body kind of vibrate with that purr. I'm hearing the purr, even though I'm talking a lot, I'm hearing that purr a little bit more. And I can even focus on my sense of sight as I'm watching myself pet her. I'm also seeing, and I know you guys can't see this because she's kind of out of the camera. Um, let's see if we can, hi kitty cat. You're gonna be on camera for a moment. Hi. Um, but I'm also kind of watching her body and her her skin kind of like react to that that petting. And so all of these, let's get this back up. Ah. Um, so all of these different uh, awareness of senses can be a really good way to help relax yourself and manage some of that stress and anxiety. I can't remember where I read it, but I recently did read that they're about 15 minutes a day petting an animal or petting a house pet will relieve stress. And so imagine if I'm just sitting here for 15 minutes, just petting her like she would be, first of all, she'd probably fall asleep and she's nice and warm. So another sensory thing, but also it slows us down. Have you ever had a cat or a dog laying in your lap and you can't get up because you don't want to disturb them? Kind of the same thing. Like they, they, truly do slow us down to say, you know what, maybe I don't have to rush off to the next thing. So I know this has kind of been a little bit silly video, but I hope it's been helpful for you. It can be so good to, to focus on your pets and use them as a stress management skill. So that's why I thought I'd just lean into the fact that my cat wanted to make an appearance today. And um, if you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And until next time, take care.